Okay, we went out to the range and we ran into a little problem. Um, I started using CCI primers and I always use Federal. I just start using CCI. I can't find Federals that easily. So I had to think of a solution to the problem and the solution was to put heavier striker springs in it so that every time I shoot it goes bang. So I did it to some of my other Glocks. I'm going to show you how to change them in the 17 probably or the 34 one of them or maybe even both of them. Uh, but first let's go out to range and I'll show you the footage that I was talking about before we come back and change the springs. Hey, let's see if we get a little better this time. Got five more in there. Those are those CCI primers. Wish I never bought them. Wish I never bought them. Let's get started on changing the striker springs out. We're going to do it on a Glock 17. Just unload it. Just going to take the slide off. Put the frame off to the side. We don't need it. Let's take it apart. You basically feel stripping it. We don't need any of this stuff. Neither put this off to the side. No, you got your slide out. And all we have to do is get the striker spring out of there. The way we do that, I found the easiest way is just turn it over like this. Take your Glock tool, which is a 332nd punch or something of that nature. Hold it in, push it down. While you still got pressure on it, take it and wiggle it back with a, a little screwdriver. The, the plate cover. As soon as you loosen it up, just loosen up a tad like that. Or you get out. Keep your finger over the top and you can, you can actually pull it away now. See I got my fingers over the top, I don't want all the springs to fly all over. And we just took off the base the back plate and then we just pull out the striker with the striker spring. Oh, this one's pretty dirty. Well, while we got it apart, we might as well clean it too. And you can just leave everything else the way it is because the only thing we're going to concentrate on is changing a striker spring. And the main thing with this is that you don't want to lose the little cups. So I put in my little vise here and it's padded and you don't put a lot of pressure just enough to hold it in place very lightly. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on it at all with this. And what you, what you do then is if you can see here, I'm pretty sure you can see pretty good on there, is you just pull the spring down. Well oh, this one's filthy. There's two little cups in here. them off to the side. You don't want to lose them. And there comes off the spring. Boy that thing is filthy. Well we got a part. Let me just take it out of the vise real quick. I'll edit this part out if you want or maybe I might just leave it in. We'll see what happens. Put it back in there. Now we went and got hold of Wolf Springs and we got the striker spring in there. This will be like an extra power one. It doesn't increase it that much. It's not like, oh my god, is this thing here is gonna be it just gives it enough to make sure they go off. And that's what the whole idea was behind this is to make sure it goes off. So what we're gonna do, it's a little tricky sometimes, is you got 
you get the spring to go down and then you put these little cups in around there and here's the other one it's kind of like I know it's going to be crappy to see on the screen but once you take yours apart you'll see what I'm talking about there and we got it back together again so we got the heavier spring on there now and basically just take it and put it back in your Glock the same way you got it out and what we do is we take the, the cover and what I, what I like to do to get it back in there a little bit easier and you know you can use any kind of screwdriver if you want. What I usually do, I, I push this down to start it and hold it and I put this put the plate back in and just start it and then even to there's another spring right up here it's for the extract and hold that in place. You just take your punch and push that down and just push it in your plate. There it is. It's in there. Get a little safety check. You hear the, the Firing. I mean, a striker's wiggling around there when you push it down, so that means it's, everything's working. There you go. Got it back in there. Just put the gun back together and be ready to go. All right.